poor eyesight could have spelled disaster in the ancient world. If you did not see the predator, you would be lucky if the predator did not see you. The quality of life of a perceptually impaired person was in dire need of an important upgrade, thus necessity brought to life a new invention. The earliest example of a visual aid being used comes from the renowned Roman author Pliny the Elder, who in his book Naturalis Historia, published in the year 77 AD, mentions an emerald reading stone being used by the Emperor Nero. Reading stones were probably the first visual aid to be used, when placed on top of a text they magnify the letters. A specific lens dated around the 8th century was found in the Assyrian palace of Nimrud in modern-day Iraq. Archaeologists suspect that this Nimrud lens could have been used as a magnifying glass, although it might as well have been used as a tool for lighting fires or maybe just for decorative purposes. The earliest recorded comment of use of lenses for optical purposes was made in 1268 by the medieval philosopher Roger Bacon. The first recorded eyeglasses is reported to have been made by around 1290 AD in central Italy, most likely in Pisa. The famous Dominican friar Giordano of Pisa wrote, It is not yet 20 years since there was found the art of making eyeglasses, which make for good vision, and it is so short a time that this new art never before extant was discovered. I saw the one who first discovered and practiced it, and I talked to him. The friar, however, never mentioned the name of this inventor and it remains lost in the annals of history. Giordano's colleague, friar Alessandro della Spina of Pisa, was soon making eyeglasses. The ancient chronicle of the Dominican monastery of St. Catherine in Pisa records, eyeglasses having first been made by someone else who was unwilling to share them, he, friar Spina, made them and shared them with everyone with a cheerful and willing heart. Venice quickly became an important center of manufacture, especially due to using the high-quality glass made at Murano. By 1301, there were guild regulations in Venice governing the sale of eyeglasses and a separate guild of Venetian spectacle makers was formed in 1320. Early frames for glasses consisted of two magnifying glasses riveted together by the handles so that they could grip the nose. These are referred to as rivet spectacles. The earliest surviving examples were found under the floorboards at Kloster Wienhausen, a convent near Selle in Germany. They have been dated to circa 1400. During the 17th and until the early 19th century, there was a new fashion in town, the so-called Nuremberg-style glasses. These were one-piece wire frames usually made out of copper with round lenses. The next important event in the genesis of eyeglasses comes in 1727, when the English optician Edward Scarlett discovered the now standard eyeglass frames which are hooked around the ears. With this move he solved a 5 century old problem of stability which came with the other spectacles which primarily were pinching the nose to keep them in place. Another historical landmark in this journey was made when Benjamin Franklin invented the bifocal lens somewhere in the 1760s. These lenses have two areas of different magnification for people with presbyopia and myopia, commonly known as farsightedness and nearsightedness in that order. Now, nature has provided that parallel rays shall produce a sharp image upon the retina without any effort, and, as one may say, with the eye in a state of complete relaxation. Back in the early 20th century, optician Moritz von Rohr and the now famous name in the lens industry, Carl Zeiss, invented the Zeiss Punktal spherical lenses, which made it possible for the wearer to see clearly when looking through the peripheral areas of the lens. Prior to this invention, wearers had to turn their heads so that the object was at the center of the spectacle lens if they wanted to see it clearly. A truly remarkable achievement which ushered in the era of the modern-day eyeglasses we use. Although some of us are still waiting for the long overdue X-ray glasses, the journey that our ancestor brought us into is a remarkable experience in and of itself. Stay focused, friends!